Hi, welcome to another episode of Slice of Life. I'm James. This video is going to be a little different from the previous two videos that I've posted because this is the first time I'm talking directly into the camera. The reason why I'm doing this, well, this particular clip is because I was editing the video yesterday and I felt that there's a need for like a little introduction and uh, this is that introduction. But throughout this video, there's going to be very little or maybe no voiceover. I'm not sure because I haven't started editing it yet. But the reason why I've decided to not do voiceover is because, well, there are two reasons. First thing is when I was editing the previous two videos, I wasn't really looking forward to recording the voiceover part. It was not really conveying the exact same emotion that I wanted to express through those clips and I feel like talking directly into the camera will do like a much better job of doing that. The second reason and or not the main reason why I'm doing Slice of Life is for me to get comfortable in front of camera. I am camera shy. I'm not really comfortable being in front of camera. Because to me, it's the same as talking to like a large group of people. It's the same level of intimidation. I know that there's maybe like five people who are actually watching this video, but like it's, uh, you know, I'm putting it on a platform with like millions of people and it, the thought of that kind of intimidates me. But I want to get over that fear of being in front of camera. So this, like me documenting my life is, a big reason of, for me doing this but it's also like a training for me to like be comfortable in front of camera um, so anyway this week was mainly me working on my assignments I'm nearing the end of my college program there's maybe only two more weeks uh, of college left and that means there's a lot of assignments due and I am struggling right now to like keep up with the deadlines so last week was basically me pulling a lot of all-nighters working on my assignment trying to finish it off in time and while doing that I was also recording me doing the assignments showing up I'll be showing like a couple of sketches that I made I did like two character designs I did like an animation assignment so it's basically just that. I've got a lot of assignments to do. Two of them are due this Friday. And then I have like three of them coming up next week. So if I don't start, I've so designed a character based on my college senior. Now I have to kind of redesign the character. They were in a different genre. This is the character that I have designed already. His name is uh, George or Design Scape. So, this character is based on my senior from college. His name is George, George Thomas. He's an amazing designer. He's the one who got me into graphic design. So, I think about eight, nine months back, I made the sketch of him. 
and then when I started working on this assignment, I kind of developed the character based on that illustration, which is this one. And the whole concept is basically, or the story of the, of the character is basically, George is like a regular graphic designer. By the day, he works in a small graphic design firm. And by night, he is a superhero that fights bad designs. So he's pretty much based on, I mean, the costume and everything is based off of Adobe Illustrator. And this is like the pen tool. Uh, he's got like a holographic eye thingy and a wrist thing. And then he have a shield, uh, which is based on the golden ratio. The shield comes in handy when he fights his nemesis, which is like, Okay, so his nemesis are Papyrus and Comic Sans, the fonts. Now this is, I mean, this was kind of like the first output, which is okay, but like the proportion is not that great. Like his hands are short and then I got a bunch of feedback on this one. And then I developed like the character turnaround sheet and some action process and everything. So this is sort of the final look of the character and some pauses, which I need to work on again. Cause like, again, proportions are off a few of his expression and some detailed sort of his gadgets and like other stuff. Now I need to work on putting him in different genres. So for that, I've kind of decided that I'm gonna put him in like a Western genre, maybe make him like a cowboy and illustrate him in this style. And the next one is going to be him in a fantasy genre designed in this style, more vector based game style. Sketchbook is pretty fun to use, but it's, I mean, I'm still getting used to it. I've ma had maybe like 15 minutes with it and that's a bit of a learning curve, but I think I can get used to it. That's all for tonight. He's following me home now. Hmm. 
this is what i worked on by the way uh so it's a story where this guy comes in and he see that his tire is flat and the initial plan he was spinning his keys on his hand like that but that's really hard to animate so i made it look like he's picking up picking his nose and then in the next scene he like checks the tire thinks about it and he gets an idea he runs to the back of the car grabs a pump and then he starts pumping but the tire inflates so much and tuck. that's where the pop sound comes i mean that's like an explosion which is again super hard to animate so i'm cheating a little bit so um, yeah it's a black car and then he wakes up on the floor and, like the car falls on him it's going to be like 20 seconds long and i'm going to get my feedback on it in today's class One of the most interesting thing that I did this week is I borrowed a VR headset from my college. It's an Oculus Quest 2. It was really fun to paint with it. I I tried painting with it. So like I used Tilt Fresh to like paint. It's my first time doing it. And I painted like a peony flower. But I can't really use it for a long duration maybe like 45 minutes maximum and then it starts to make me feel a little sick i don't know if it's like motion sickness or it's a headache but uh, it's not really comfortable to use it for a long period of time but that was fun i'm also really new to this so i don't really know how to show what i have painted uh in vr uh, i don't know how to record it and I am scared to like figure things out, like go into the settings and try to figure things out because like it's something that I borrowed from college and I don't want to mess up the settings. So I'm going to try this again later sometime. So I have a tiny little clip of the, f I painted like a peony flower and I have a tiny little clip of what I've painted, uh, which I'll try to show at the end. So that's pretty much it. I hope to see you guys again next week but on the slice of life. Bye-bye.